Hi, this is JP from Another Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough, and we are continuing the Alice in Wonderland campaign by the Beard. And this is a fan made campaign. And uh, last time uh, we played the sibling rivalry, which didn't go that well because our deck is not uh, able to handle that many enemies. So we got overwhelmed and got a uh, mental trauma from that. So Wendy starts with three mental trauma and one physical trauma and the two of those are from the in the thick of it uh, we did the interlude which was Humpty Dumpty and we do, took the one that adds this boon into our deck so uh, basically revelation put Humpty Dumpty to play next to your agenda deck it has search and when a tablet token is revealed cancel the token and do not reveal another token and discard Humpty Dumpty so this gets shuffled into here and we also have to add one tablet token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. So uh, I got zero experience from the last scenario, so no changes were made to the deck. So I won't go over to ArkhamCDB.com to showcase the changes because there aren't any. Uh, so I'll just put the link to the deck list into the video description if you want to check the deck out if you haven't seen it before in the previous videos but yeah uh, we'll start by reading the scenario introduction text so we are at uh, scenario 1d uh, i mean 2d wild snark chase the forest around you grows darker and more tangled with each step it reminds you of the witch haunted woods on the outskirts of arkham in several respects each echoing sound uh, might be some eerie creature stalking your steps, or another of Kurant Naka's shadows hungering for your essence. Your worries escalate as the clear path you'd been following dead ends in a bare, uh, bramble patch. You scan the tangle from any, for any signs of a way through or around, but without any promise. Your eyes return to the path you arrived by only to find that the forest has swallowed it without any trace. It's almost uh, as if the woods themselves were actively working to confuse you, like many of Wonderland's other denis denizens. Now, at a loss for direction, you stumble forward through the rough terrain as long as the fading light allows. Each passing moment gradually amplifies your fear of being ambushed out from the darkness. You press on until finally, at the foot of a gnarled tree, you make a campfire from the fallen branch just to wait out the night. Not an hour into your rest, you are awoken by the, clearing, uh, uh, the clanging of a bell and the clamor of nearby voices. You rouse yourself from, the, from sleep and find that your campfire is somehow missing. Though a purring chuckle directs your attention above your head, the Cheshire cat holds the burning logs in two paws, waving them like signal lanterns. Noticing that you are awoken, the cat grins and sets the fire back down before disappearing once more. A crowd of ten figures rushes eagerly into the clearing around the tree, only to stop with groans and sighs. This, this isn't a snark at all. A proud-looking man cries, waving his bell for attention. Those knocks are handed for us, striking a light. This one's been lit by someone or other. The hunters seat themselves around your fire with several shows of exhaustion. At least it wasn't a boojum, a man with a baker's hat mutters as he wipes the sweat from his brows thankfully. We'd all have vanished away, were that the case, the bellman retorts. Seating himself beside you, uh, he looks over uh, for a moment as if just noticing you and stands once more. By chance, would you also be hunting a snark? You shake your head and explain that you've gotten lost in the woods here. What luck, we're lost as well, he exclaims with a smile. But the snark's the cure for that. A snark is useful for a great many things, and, finds, uh, and finding one way surely might be one of them. You're quite welcome to join our search. Pending your profession, you look to the hunters and see uh, um, 
banker, a butcher, a beaver, and others, all with jobs beginning with a bee. You think for a moment and tell the bellman that you could be considered a bodyguard. And he leads his fellows in a cheer, just what the chief needed. We'll find a snark in no time at all now. The chocolate wood uh, may be dense and dense and thicker than thieves, but we'll find the snark in spite of it. Okay, so we are headed into a snark hunt. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and uh, we are set up here, so let's read the uh, agenda and act cards first. So, it was brilliant. brilliant. Uh, despite the enthusiasm of the bellman and his party, you have some reservations about searching through these woods in the dark. You get the unsettling feeling that as you search for the snark, something far stranger and far stronger hunts for you. And there's an action take one physical and one mental trauma. Resign, you break away from the search and hope to find the trail out. And there's three doom threshold. Then uh, we have the babes in the woods act. Uh, onward to the snark, the bellman shouts as the hunters scatter into the Tulchi wood. Search high and low, for a snark may lurk in any tree or hollow. Once we've gotten our bear rings, it is, it's a good as found. You're not convinced it'll be that easy, or in the creature, if, if the creature even resides in these woods at all, but some res recognizance can't hurt. The investigators at any location may activate the bellman's abilities. And um, action, if there is no horror on your location, spend one clue as a group, place a horror token on that location from the token bank. Objective, if there are six revealed Talchi Wood locations, advance. And we have only five here. And we have the Bellman. So, uh, the Bellman reads, um, uh, it's a four cost asset, uh, you can acquire it. So it's an ally, humanoid, wonderland. You get plus one willpower. Uh, when an, a card effect would force you to lose any amount of resources, exhaust the bellman and deal one damage to him, you ignore that a part of the effect. And when a card effect would force you to discard any amount of cards from your hand, exhaust the bellman and deal one horror to him, you ignore that part of the effect. And uh, it, uh, the bellman is at the tum tum tree, but we can activate his abilities from anywhere. Then we also have the Jabber Walk uh, set aside out of play next to the agenda deck. Four fight, four health, and three evade, massive retaliate alert. The Jabber Walk gets plus one damage and plus one horror during the enemy phase. Force at the end of their round disengage the Jabber Walk from all investigators and move it to and all tokens on it next to the agenda deck out of play and two victory points. And then we have. The Tom Tom Tree, uh, which is a two-shot location with one clue, action search the play area and out of play areas for the chapel walk, including the victory display, read it, and move it to Tom Tom Tree in your camp lock under Fragments of Alice Record Courage. Okay, and uh, then we have this trail deck. We start with the Broker's Trail, so we must, we must search uh, both high and low, the broker declares, but let us start low for the sake of our stock. Though the premise is flawed, this still leads you toward soft mud and bent, bent plants that betray the passage of some creature very recently, and their supposed ability. If there are exactly three locations without four of them, flip this card and put it into play. So we start with zero horror on locations, and uh, we need to get uh, clues to put horror onto locations. So that is our main objective at the moment. We'll draw our opening hand. Postian Bargain, Lockpicks, uh, Jury Rig, Resourceful, and Breaking and Entering. Well, I am uh, shuffling that. 
I'll keep the rest. We get track shoes, so I think I'll just set up stuff here at the start. Try to get my stuff out before it's too late, like last time. Okay, um, we'll uh, at the start of the round uh, look at the two underworld cards. Well, two 25 automatics. I'll actually pick one of them so I have a weapon ready. And the other one goes underneath the underworld market deck. Okay, first action. We will play Faustian Bargain to get resources. And, uh, well, I'll do two actions to play uh, lockpicks and track shoes down. So we add two curse tokens to the back, and that costs six, so we'll spend one more resource from here. And we have the track shoes, and we have the lockpicks. That is our whole turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw stylish coat and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card for this round is... A petulant creature. So flip the gesture cat. So we flip it and it searches. And we get another enemy of course. Well first in this game. So Juju Bird is a hunter aloof force at the start of the enemy phase. If Juju Bird is ready and unengaged, it attacks each investigator at its location in player order. Okay, so if we just leave here, it won't attack. So I'm uh, putting it there. It has a true fight, so we could uh, try to get the weapon out and kill it at some point, but I think we can just uh, maneuver around it. First action, we will use the lockpicks to investigate here. Uh, first we'll check the underworld market, we'll buy a dirty fighting. And I'll first action play it. I'll put the dirty fighting over here. Oh yeah, this other dirty fighting goes to the bottom of my deck. Okay, uh, second action we'll investigate using the lockpicks. I am investigating uh, 8 versus 2. We get a minus 3, so we grab this clue. And uh, We'll move, so we this Juju, Juju bird doesn't attack, so I'll go to the fields of chasms. So, four shroud, one clue, if there's no horror on field of chasms, discard uh, one asset from all, among all investigators. Hands at this location, place one horror token on field of chasms from the token bank. So, we could do that instead of uh, using a clue, but I think we're able to get the clues. So, enemy phase, this guy hunts here, is aloof, so it doesn't attack because it's uh, not at the start of the enemy phase. Okay, and uh, we'll go to upkeep. We draw Peter, Sylvester, and gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. And counter card for this round is another enemy, of course, uh, Slidey Toe. 3 fight, 2 health, 1 evade, Hunter alert. After Slidey Toe is successfully evaded, move it to a connecting location and ready it. Wait, well, that's that's annoying. So it comes into um, engage with us. This is over here. Mm. So we basically can't evade it. Well, um, yeah, I don't have the resources to play that, so first action, well, we'll just have to, oh yeah, the underworld market, we get the fence and hidden pocket, I'll grab the fence, okay, 
then we will oh uh, yeah first action we will evade this guy and we are evading five versus one yeah five versus one minus one it is evaded so it moves up here and readies Second action, we'll use the lockpicks to investigate. 8 versus 4. Plus 1, we succeed, we'll get the clue. Then we'll move and uh, we trigger the track shoes before that engages us. So we are testing 5 versus 3. It is a skull, and I've got to go through this. So skull is X. X is uh, equal to half the doom on the current agenda. So it is minus one. So we succeed, and we'll move to narrow valley without engaging this. Okay, there's an action. So, uh, action if there's no horror on narrow valley, discard one event from among the invest all investigator hands and this location plays a horror token on narrow valley from the token bank. Okay, and enemy face, this enemy hunts here, engages us, hits us for one damage and one horror, which is not good. And this guy hunts over here. Then we'll go to upkeep, we get sneak attack, and we'll get a resource. And that is, and is ready. And uh, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so the agenda advances. Okay, so, an awful burbling. The told you would reverberates with a horrible noise, an indescribable hissing, gurgling, roaring sound. You don't have to ask what sort of monster could make that noise as you see it hurtling through the woods toward you. It is an emo enormous, loathsome thing with fiery eyes and razor-sharp claws and uh, that rend trees apart as it passes. Fear courses through your veins and you have a scan seconds to decide whether to run or fight. Search all play areas and out of play areas, including the victory display for the Jabberwock, and move it to the lead investigator's location. Shuffle the remainder of the set aside Jabberwock encounter set into the encounter deck. A manaxum foe. It is at the Jabberwock, the bellman cries, and rings his bell with wild alarm. The warning doesn't help you in the slightest, form, however, as you are already in the throes of battle with it. The monster swoops and vanishes in its wild attacks, making you wonder just where and when it will strike next. You try to keep up the search while accounting for this added menace, but the Jabberwock's uh, attack has drawn the attention of much darker things. And there's the uh, same resign action, 5 Doom Threshold. So we spawn the Jabberwock. And uh, and it is massive, so it's here. We shuffle this uh, chopper box set into the encounter deck. I think we didn't need to shuffle the discard. Yeah, we don't shuffle the encounter discard pile. Okay, and uh, 
we get the encounter card with this disjunction. Discard any number of cards from your hand or from play area whose total cost is equal to the greater than your location shroud value. If you cannot take one damage and one horror. Uh, it is three and... Uh, uh, we could use the bellman here. So... We'll just uh, place one horror onto the bellman. Uh, that's not a horror. So we ignore that effect. Okay. So, uh, first off, we'll check the market check. Well, uh, we'll pick the pickpocketing. And now we really need to uh, figure out how we deal with this slidey toe. So I think it will get a hit on us uh, one more time. So we will evade uh, that first. So I'm evading uh, 5 versus 1. It is the elder sign, so it is a zero, so we succeed. So it is evaded and moves here and readies. Second action will evade this one. Oh yeah, there's this enemy too, damn. Okay, well, uh, we are evading five versus three. Actually, um, yeah, I don't have the resources. Oh, yeah, we had to pay for the pickpocketing. I actually want to take the pickpocketing now. So we'll save the resource. So we can uh, try to <laughs> play something at some point. Okay. Um, We'll just evade 5 versus 3, and uh, I'll go 6 versus 3. I'll commit the stylish code to this. Ah, uh, we fail. And it has alert, so it hits for 1 damage and 4. Okay. Yeah, uh, we are nearly dead. I'll try to evade again. Yeah, we'll throw this in. Six versus three. Minus two, we evade. Uh, I'll use the dirty fighting to try to um, hit it. Uh, so, we are hitting 3 versus 4, not even committing anything to this. Uh, elder thing, uh, it is a minus 4 because the Jabberwock is in play. Okay, enemy face, this guy hunts over here, engages us, hits us for 1 damage and 1 horror. We are 1 horror away from getting defeated. So, uh, this will be another <laughs> short game, unfortunately, but uh, we are again overwhelmed with enemies. So, it's it's really strange that we are only drawing enemies from the encounter deck, but that's that's what it sometimes is. Okay, well, that is that round. Oh, yeah, we do the upkeep. So, paranoia, of course, we discard all of our resources and then we get another resource, so we can't even play anything next round. So. Yeah, so that is that round. This ready is. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we'll add a doom. I think this is the last round of the game. Um, Claws and uh, catch. Test agility tree. This test gets plus one difficulty and peril if the Jabberwock is in play. If you fail, take one damage and lose two resources. Well, okay. As this will be probably the last round, I'm just committing these two. So we are 
7 versus 3. So not even the minus 4 will fail us, but I'm pretty sure we'll draw minus 3 and the uh, Cheshire Cat will make us fail. Curse. Okay. Uh, elder design, so we'll actually succeed in that. Okay. Uh, yeah. We have one resource which we can't use. I'll just grab that just for uh, the ability to commit it to a test. So, first action. There's no way in uh, surviving this, so. We'll just uh, evade the Jabberwock. I'll commit this. Six versus. Uh, six versus three. Minus two. We succeed by just a one, so the Cheshire Cat makes us fail. So that's that. And uh, the Jabberwock kills us. We die from horror again. And that's the end of the game. We drop our clues here. So, yeah, uh, this, this campaign is going down the drain. But it is what it is. I'll pay as long as I'll uh, get uh, defeated or go insane with the with Wendy. But yeah, uh, not, not a great result again. This uh, Actually, this slighted toe was the bane of our existence. Because it readies after you evade it. So even though I evade it every time it hunts and hits us for one damage and one horror, and we didn't weren't set up to uh, defeat it by fighting, and even though it, it completely negates my uh, dirty fighting tactic to evade and then hit it, so because it moves away and readies, so you can't ever have it uh, exhausted. So that's that's a really nasty design there. Okay, let's uh, read. So, um, investigator defeats badly beaten and half mad. You stumble deeper into the Tulti wood. Now, ever, even more lost than before, you hope that you can last out the night before the shadows close in on you. Moments pass fever fearfully until you spot movement out of the corner of your eye. At first, the form looks like one of the shadows. But as it grows closer, there can be no doubt. It's a snark. You start to call for the hunters when you notice a hint of malice in the creature's eyes. The bellman didn't mention anything like this about the snark. You rapidly rack your brain until you recall a comment about something called a poojum. From what the hunters discussed, it's a creature that resembles a snark. But should you meet it, you will softly and suddenly vanish... Uh, you will so softly and suddenly vanish away. You look up and realize you too late that it is a boo. Each investigator who was defeated is killed. If there are no en not enough enemy investigators to continue the campaign, the campaign is over and the players lose. Okay. So, that's the end of the campaign, actually. I didn't see that coming. So, yeah. Well, um... Uh, I got to, <laughs> to the midpoint of the campaign and got defeated, and I am not picking this up um, with another investigator. If I will film another playthrough, I'll start from the beginning with a different investigator. But yeah, the campaign was going poorly either way, so that is the end. And uh, if you want to experience this campaign yourself, I highly recommend it. Uh, this just was a bad, bad deck for the campaign. Uh, we got uh, swarmed by enemies, so I think a more uh, fighty uh, investigator would be a better true solo investigator for the campaign. But yeah, Wendy Adams was killed in the Wonderland, so that is the end of this campaign. So, hope you guys like uh, this playthrough, and thanks for watching, and until next time.